Hello guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of JSN RS Solution channel. Today I will show you how to perform rainfall deviation map in ArcGIS. So let's start. So here is my data. You can see here the country, then rainfall average and uh, also recorded rainfall data also station name station ID altitude latitude and longitude so we just need rainfall average and recorded rainfall and station ID for our uh, work and to save as uh, MS CSV uh, DOS format just follow this instruction so our data uh, as uh, CSB MS DOS uh, has been saved and also you can see the shape file district boundary and climate station shape file so if you need this data for practice then uh, just write me in the comment section your email id so open arcmap then add your data so i'm adding a climate station district boundary and rainfall data the CSB data so all data uh, has added here open attribute table so you can see here the station ID uh, and let long and for CSV file here we have rainfall average and recorded rainfall so we have to join this data into uh, climate station uh, attribute table so for doing that right click on and then uh, join and relates and then click on join and uh, here choose the field in this layer that the join will be based on so uh, select so i am selecting here station id so according to station id uh, my data uh, will be joined and then click ok now uh, check this climate station uh, then you will see that uh, my data has uh, joined in this table here you can see the rainfall average and uh, recorded rainfall so now uh, i am converting this as shape file for that uh, just follow this instruction I will save this uh, data as export file and rename is this data as uh, rainfall bd then click save ok yes so now we just need rainfall uh, and district boundary data and this one I will delete open attribute table click on uh, deviation and then uh, field calculator and uh, add recorded rainfall minus rainfall average and multiply by 100 and divided by uh, average rainfall so then click ok mm -hmm. 
so uh, rainfall uh, deviation data has been added here and then I will add another field uh, I'm going to name it deviation percentage and click OK I'm going to do that because uh, I have to uh, uh, re uh, remove the fraction in the deviation uh, value so for doing that just uh, yeah select deviation and then click ok so you can see over here uh, the fraction has been removed so you can see the deviation percentage and now uh, go to a special analyze tools and then uh, interpolation and then IDW and uh, here you can see a W uh, dialog box appears and add rainfall BD as input point features and for dead value field uh, select deviation percentage and then output raster select uh, path uh, in your computer when you want to save your output file so I'm going to uh, As per your preference, I'm going to rename it as rainfall deviation and then save. And uh, uh, number of points, so check your number of points. So here I have total 31 points. So I'm writing here 31. And then go to environments and uh, processing extent and extent select uh, same as layer district boundary and then go to uh, raster analysis and uh, here select district boundary as mask then click ok then ok So you can see over here uh, rainfall deviation map uh, has been uh, produced uh, using IDW technique. So go to properties and format your level. I'm going to keep it uh, value uh, 2 after fraction. Let's click OK. Also, uh, you can uh, change the class number, you can re uh, increase or you can decrease, so I am going to keep it uh, 6 classes. Also, you can uh, change the color ramp, so I am going to keep this color and then click OK. It looks pretty. And uh, then uh, contour, uh, for contour, write in search box contour and you will get contour 3d analyzed and then double click on it and uh, add rainfall deviation as uh, input raster and output polyline features uh, select a path where you want to save your data so I'm going to rename as uh, contour rainfall and then click save and contour interval uh, you can uh, write uh, uh, a number as per your requirement so I'm writing here 4 and then click OK so our contour rainfall uh, has been uh, generated so you can see here the contour line and to show the contour uh, value go to properties and then levels and then uh, level field so select contour and uh, check the level feature in this layer then click ok and uh, you will see the contour value has been added in your uh, map. After completing all the process, now you can make a complete map adding legend, scale and others as well. Uh, hope you can do it perfectly. Anyway, I am expecting this video will help you a lot for your research or any assignment whenever needed. If you really like our effort, 
then please do subscribe our channel and keep in touch to get many more interesting videos thank you for being with us